Okay. It's uh, Sunday, uh, March 27th, 2005. I'm Alan Wazinski, Commander of Post uh, 72, um, Lamory Hackett, in Soviet New York. And I'm here with. What's your name? Walter Johnson of Grzynski. Okay. Uh, Walt, were you, uh, let's see, were you uh, drafted or did you do enlist? Enlist. Okay, what, what service did you enlist in? United States Army Air Force. And where were you living at the time that you were enlisted? Where were you living when you enlisted? Manhattan. In Manhattan, on the Lower East Side. Lower East Side. Yeah. So where did, where did they, uh, when they sent you, uh, on your first day of the service, where did they send you? To uh, Atlantic City. Mikabaka Hotel. Mikabaka Hotel? Uh, then Fort Dix after that? Mm -hmm. Fort Dix? No. no. Straight to the hotel. Oh, okay. Basic training oh. was at the hotel. Oh. They had uh, about three or four hotels. Mm -hmm. The Air Force, and they had uh, men in there who uh, were drafted or enlisted, and they would take, we would take in tests and so forth to designate where the enemy was going to send us mm -hmm. for uh, training and uh, probably, uh, what would you call that? MOS. What's that more was? Military again? occupational specialty? Uh, Military occupational specialty? No, no, I'm always in something else. Uh, well, to see what trade you'd be qualified for. Okay, job in the Army, mm -hmm. in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you took the one that you I went to uh, radio school at uh, in Illinois. What was the name of the place? Uh, you know, no, Chanel was a good thing. You know, Gallon Field? Well, to a, to a uh, military camp in the old noise that had a uh, technical uh, radio uh, uh, school. I was sent there for uh, to uh, learn how to deal with radios and so forth. Mm -hmm. Radio operator. Mm -hmm. From there, I was sent. After I finished there, in about six weeks or so, I was transferred to Laredo Army Airfield in Laredo, Texas, for training as an aerial gunner. So there are training planes. There. You were on training At, planes. You were on training. 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 After six weeks of basic training there. As an aerial gunner, I was sent to uh, Gowanville, Boise, Idaho, where uh, I was assigned to a, a flying uh, uh, B-24 squadron. I uh, I went up in a B-24 on three different occasions. After the third occasion. I, uh, we landed, my pilot sent me to the medical department for evaluation, and they found that over 10,000 feet, 10, feet in the air, uh, once I put the oxygen mask on, because uh, after 10,000 feet in the air, to uh, put a uh, oxygen mask on and breathe oxygen while you're flying at that uh, feedage. After examination by three medical doctors, they uh, decided that uh, they were going to ground me, that I, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't qualify to uh, survive as an aerial gun once I went into combat. So from there, they transferred me to uh, military.
sharing uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where I was trained as a Loran operator. From there, I was sent to. That's a long range aid to navigation. Long range aid to aid to navigation. Long range navigation and whatnot. From there, I was sent to Key Largo, Florida. I spent over a year or more down there as a operator on Moran equipment. By that time, the war would. What war? When? Germany. Uh, Who surrendered first? Germany. Oh, Germany. Germany surrendered. After that, I was sent to. Uh, then I was sent to Vortex. And from Vortex, I was discharged from the army. So you never, you never got overseas. Never went I never went overseas. I know you spoke one time about B-25s. You never, you never got a chance to go. No B-20. The medical officers, I asked them to send me to a B-25 or B-26 uh, bomber school, and uh, they said no. Uh, they didn't have. We didn't have the time. Uh, necessary to uh, start training us in different aircraft because uh, I imagine the Washington figured the war would start to come to a, to a end, mm -hmm. which we didn't know this was up to the generals and all. So from there I, I came home. I was discharged from Fort Dix and came home. And that was it, period. The B-24s, though, that, they, that, that you were trained, they, they, went, they went to where, Ploesti? Uh, the B-24s that you were going to go with, they were sent to Ploesti? Ploesti? Ploesti, the remain, remain Oil fields? Yeah. They probably were, I don't know. I never, I never, I never, I never flew in the 24 overseas. Mm -hmm. I only flew 24s in, in this country. When you were in, uh, when you were in, in the search, how did you keep in touch with your family? By mail. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, anything? How was your food like at uh, the huh? army? Air, how was your food in the Army Air Force? Your food. How was it like? And your supplies? The food was very good. Mm -hmm. I have no uh, no quarrels about the food <laughs> in the Air Force of the United States. <laughs> so, did you people? How did they entertain themselves? I know that you. Uh, no, just you went some. Yeah. Did you, you ran a video, didn't you? You ran the uh, movies, I mean, didn't you? you huh? Didn't you go to a uh, movie school? For, no. uh, I thought you went for projectionist school. Oh, that, that was a uh, uh, side job in the Army. Mm -hmm. I uh, was an assistant projectionist on my time off. And they paid me, uh, I don't know, I think it was a dollar an hour. Mm -hmm. And with that money, I saved it and I was able to uh, buy a ticket on the train mm -hmm. and came home on a furlough. I had a 30 day furlough. The money I earned mm -hmm. as a projectionist brought me uh, to New York and back to Idaho. So you were, you were in Idaho and, and, uh, and Key West, Florida? Huh? You were in Idaho and in Key West, Florida, right? Yeah. In Key Largo. Key Largo, okay. Key Largo. Key Largo. Key Largo. Key Largo. Okay. And also in, uh, in Idaho. So, Idaho? Yeah. Now in Field Idaho was a B-24 mm -hmm. training school. Mm -hmm. So that was, one of, was that one of the best places that you were in? Idaho? Huh? Idaho was one of the best places you were in? Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. So did you have any friends that you, that you met, uh, that you kept in contact with? Yes, a friend of mine. I used to paddle around with in Boise, Idaho. Uh, I was on, uh, I was waiting deployment to go to a, uh, uh, what did I just say? I had that training. For the B-24s? Um, no, MIT. So for uh, Loran. Loran. Okay. We were supposed to uh, I was, we were supposed to get shipped to 
New Guinea. Okay. But by that time, the war with Japan was over. So we never got sent. That's when I mm -hmm. was sent back. Seeing USO shows or meet the entertainers? Well, on the belt, on the base, mm -hmm. whenever they had them. Otherwise, we didn't see them. I know. We just saw the regular movies. Mm -hmm. They had a movie theater. You met Anthony Quinn, didn't you? Huh? You met Anthony Quinn, didn't you? You met Anthony Quinn? Yes. In Portland, in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> on stage. Uh, I know for photographs, I'm going to hold this one up here. And I know that you're, you're in this picture here. We can zoom in. And the, uh, yeah, there you are. Here. Yeah, that was in that was in radio in school. Uh, this uh, photograph was in was in radio in school. The radio school. Yeah. yeah you can see it better this way. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to think of that. Bill in Illinois. Belleville. Belleville. Okay. Belleville, Illinois. Belleville, Illinois. How is that? Okay. So where were you when uh, when when World War Two ended? Where was your where, where was your where were you stationed? Florida. So you were in Key Largo in the yeah. Second World War. Okay. I was assigned there. Okay, so after, after you had been discharged, did you uh, go back to school or to work? Did you use the GI Bill? No, no, I came home and I got a job. Okay. But I used the GI Bill to uh, take a school uh, school training with Delahanty. Uh, for uh, for uh, to become police officer and uh, different civil service uh, attached. Uh, Delahanty was a civil, like a civil service school that you paid to, uh, and they trained you and they showed you how to uh, take these tests and take them and qualify for them and so on. I took uh, six tests. And I passed six deaths. What was it? There was a story I remember you telling me when I was younger. It was the, the mining engineer. You were going to go for the mining. Oh. The when I got discharged and came home, mm -hmm. I was going to go to uh, Canada to a uh, geology school to become a geologist, a mining engineer. Okay. But it never occurred. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the resources or the money. Mm -hmm. So, anybody else that you uh, kept in, in contact with? Yeah, the president of the United States. <laughs> no, just the regular, the regular born bunch that mm -hmm. I knew before. Uh, I know the fellow in Boston. We went to uh, the service and after the service. One fellow in Boston. Antonelli? I know you keep in contact with Aaron him. Nelly. Aaron Nelly. Aaron yeah. Nelly. Yeah. Yeah, well, he was one of the few close friends in the army that I got to. He died. Right. Okay. Okay, there was a one son's a doctor and one son's a dental expert. And his wife's name was Francis. So he was a close friend. We used to keep in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. Then Bob Hedges was supposed to be my best man from Idaho. And he couldn't make it. He didn't have the money to come. And he died in his in his fifties. He, he died young. Yeah, veterans organizations. I know that you were. I know it's American Legion and DAV. Is that it? DAV and American Legion. Yeah, you've gotten a, a, a hernia. And, uh, in, there's a. Uh, You've uh, gotten a uh, hernia in, uh, in Idaho. In Idaho, okay. Yeah. So, and I remember that you told, told me that they operated on you there. So, so there was, uh, okay. So uh, your uh, experiences that you had, uh, you want to say anything about your experiences, your military experience? No, no but there was none. It was just a regular experience. 
I did a lot of general duty at the bases I was at, mm -hmm. waiting to go where they assigned me. Mm -hmm. But by that time, the war was over. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and then with the hernia preventing me from a lot of taking jobs, you know. Mm -hmm. But on the different bases, they have a, a term they call general duty mm -hmm. while you're waiting to go on to an assignment somewhere. They assign you to general duty. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, know, you work most of the days clean, uh, uh, clean. Uh, day centers on the base, mm -hmm. you know, in different jobs, messenger, mm -hmm. uh, deliver film mm -hmm. or movies mm -hmm. and so forth. In other words, general duty you do, you know, and with the time you will work. With the work. There's a story. Summertime, summertime. There's a story I know that you gave blood to uh, one of your oh, friends. To the, uh, Bob's sister's baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blood so she can have an operation that in my own name at a children's hospital. She had problems, she couldn't keep her head up. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, she's okay. She teaches. She teaches. Uh, children with handicaps mm -hmm. somewhere, I don't know if it's in Idaho or one of the other states, but at a school, mm -hmm. you know, Clemens, what was it, and Rose, Rose Marie Clemens, something. well, whatever, yeah, I gave her two pints of blood, she come out, she's apparently from, I haven't talked to that family or something, what I talked to, uh, Ellen, the aunt, once a, a year around Christmas, but uh, most of the family is gone. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to talk about in, in the interview or anything you didn't cover? Or? Yeah, what am I doing here? No. <laughs> this is all part of the Veterans History yeah, Project. I'm you're I'm you're my father kid. and you're I'm on, on for this. So. Alan. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you very all. much. That's it. Okay. okay.